Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you how to make some really easy and cute washcloths and little scrubbing pads. This is going to stick with my sustainability uh, focus this year and um, I'll be using some flour sack towels and some washcloths, but you can easily use um, old towels, some flannel, um, anything like that. I apologize for the lighting in this video. My uh, my light went out and so I had to use a temporary replacement and I'm not liking it very much. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold my flour sack towel in two quarters and I'm going to cut an eight inch square. Now um, I'm actually going to put uh, a little eyelet or grommet in the corner so I can hang mine up. Um, this is totally optional and um, if you just want to make plain like washcloths and uh, and not do that then you can skip that step um, so as I said I'm doing about um, an eight inch square and uh, since I cut my or uh, folded my flower set towel in two quarters um, I'm doing uh, four at a time basically but um, as I said you can use um, old towels um, even t-shirts um, flannel, anything like that will make some great um, washcloths or re you could also like uh, call them reusable paper towels. Um, I had just found these in my stash when I was um, cleaning some stuff after the holidays. So I'm going to cut the 8 inch squares out of the flour sack and then also out of the washcloths. And I'm just going to make mine two layers, um, one with the towel on one side and one with the, um, the terry cloth on the other. And um, this extra material I'm going to set aside and um, use that to make some of the little scrubbing pads. Now since I'm going to do the eyelet in the corner, I cut one inch squares out of a medium weight fusible interfacing and also out of a fusible fleece. And I am going to fuse those into the corner. I'll put the fusible fleece onto the flour sack towel and I'm going to do it about half inch down um, from the corner. And then I'm going to fuse the medium weight interfacing onto the washcloth um, towel fabric. Again, if you're not going to do the eyelet or the grommet in the corner, um, you don't have to do this step. This is just um, something that I'm going to do to um, reinforce that a little bit more when I do put the eyelet in. Once I have that fused, then I will put um, my fabrics uh, right sides together, making sure that the little fusible squares are on the same corner. Um, these fabrics I'm usually using right now really don't have a right and a wrong side to them, but if the ones you are using do, then you want to make sure that the wrong sides are out, right sides are together. I'm just going to pin all the way around. Um, and then uh, sew all the way around, leaving an opening at the bottom um, so that I can turn it um, right side out. I'm just going to use a regular um, kind of a, a medium stitch, which is about a 2.5, and I'm just going to follow um, the edge of my presser foot along the edge of the fabric. So I've sewn all the way around it, so now I'm just going to clip my corners. This will just take out any excess fabric um, into those corners so they lay nice and flat um, when I turn it right side out. You just want to be very careful when you clip your corners that you don't clip into your stitching. You, if you want to, you can also reinforce your corners by sewing the corner sections um, twice. Once I have those clipped, then I will just flip my washcloth uh, right side out and then use a, um, 
a blunt instrument. Um, you can use, I'm just thinking I'm just going to use my pen here and just kind of um, poke out the corners and get them um, nice and square. Once that's done, then I'm just going to kind of finger roll and flatten the edges and pin them down to top stitch around the edge. This will just hold everything in place um, and also close up that opening that I left in order to turn it um, right side out. This is a great little thing that you can make for gifts. You can customize it in different colors um, to match um, kitchen decor. And also, as I said, a great thing to use um, some old towels, um, things like that. Um, and uh, I prefer to use these versus using a whole lot of paper towels. And the good thing about leaving them white is... Um, if they do get stained or something like that, then I can bleach them or don't have to worry about colors fading or anything like that in the laundry. Once I have it pinned, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little press just to hold um, those edges down. And then I'm actually going to top stitch this twice, once about a quarter inch from the edge, and then once about three eighths of an inch out. Now again, this part is optional, um, but I'm choosing to put a little eyelet in the corner so I can hang mine up. I actually have a little hook by my sink. Um, if you don't wanna do this, then uh, you are basically done with your washcloth. Um, but otherwise, um, you know, putting these eyelets in are really good. This is a 5 16 of an inch eyelet. They come in uh, usually silver or gold. And then you can buy a pack that has the eyelets and the, um, the little tool to attach them um, in the same package. They're pretty easy to put in. Um, I'm just going to center the eyelet um, in the center of that little square um, where I had put the interfacing. The eyelet has two parts. Uh, one part, the center is really flat and the other one stands up quite a bit. So once I traced my circle, then I'm just going to carefully cut it out. You don't have to be terribly perfect with this. You just want to cut it out enough so that the eyelet will um, go through the fabric. Sometimes it's a little trial and error to make sure that um, your hole is cut big enough. It's a little trickier to cut the thicker fabric like the terry cloth than it is the, the thinner fabric. Once you have your hole cut, you're just going to stick the uh, eyelet that has the taller center part through your fabric and then um, push the other piece over the top and again, the instructions on how to put these on are usually on the backs of the packages. And I actually realized I had two of the back pieces, so I had to um, switch to the correct piece. And then it's just a matter of putting it on top of the little base, putting the thing on the top, and then hammering it down. Now on to the washcloths, or the little scrubby pads, I guess. Um, I'm actually going to be using this uh, plastic mesh that comes on like lemon and lime bags, and then also on, um, like sometimes on onion or garlic bags. So I'm going to be cutting a piece um, that is about three and a half by five and a half. Again, using some of the extra washcloth from um, from the previous 
little reusable washcloths that we made. And I'm going to be doing this twice, so there's a front and a back. Again, it's about three and a half by five and a half, but you can make it at any size you want. Um, I just kind of made it a uh, sponge size and then you know, trying to use up some of the last pieces um, that I have. I also cut two pieces um, out of the um, flower sack fabric that I had left over just to give it a little bit more stability. You could just do a triple layer of the terry cloth if you wanted. Um, since I had extra the flower sack, I just used that. Now these um, weren't quite as, um, had, didn't quite have the right net to them that I wanted, um, but they still worked great. And I just cut um, one of the three and a half by five and a half that um, fit the square and then it's just a matter of layering it all together and sewing it up just like we did the previous uh, washcloth. So I'm going to put, put a flower sack piece down, then a piece of the terry cloth, then I'll put the net, then another terry cloth, and then another flower sack. Pin it all the way around, and then I will sew it all the way around, leaving the same kind of opening to, uh, to turn it. Once I've sewn it, trimmed my corners, I will turn it uh, right side out and then pin it and top stitch around the edges. If you are going to press, uh, make sure that you press the side that does not have the net um, because the, the little net plastic mesh stuff will melt um, if you put a hot iron on it. This was a little bit thick, so I got out my, um, my bodkin, which I absolutely love, and um, used that to help really um, get those corners nice and flat. Simply pin around the edges and then sew. This one I just did one top stitch instead of the two like I did on the previous. Um, and I did it about a quarter inch from the edge and so that will close up that hole that I used um, to turn it right side out. I love the way these turned out. I've already used them and um, can't wait to make some more. I hope you'll give these a try and happy sewing.